first graders. I would like to talk to you about reading fluency. Reading fluency is something we've talked about this year and it's when you read a book and your voice sounds very natural and you use a lot of expression. So this summer I'd like all of you to work on your reading fluency and the way you can do this is take some books, some of your favorite books, and even though you've read, read them before, you can read them again and just work on trying to use expression and to try to read the word smoothly so it's not choppy. Like if you said the dog and the bone. Now that would be choppy. You want to read it more natural sounding like the dog and the bone and try to use expression. So when you do this, you pay attention to question marks, periods, exclamation marks, and that if you ask a question in your story, like let's say you say, is this a dog bone? Your voice goes up a little bit at the end of that sentence. If you say something really with a lot of expression, like you're excited, like if you were to say, the dog likes his bone, you use a lot of expression and say it like you're really excited if there's an exclamation mark. So that's what I want you to work on this summer as much as you can. Today, um, in Seesaw, the teachers, the other first grade teachers and I, Mrs. Beinlich and Mrs. Mulkenteen and I, have an assignment for you where you're going to read this fluency practice page. It's called The Dog and the Bone. And when you read this, I'd like you to read it three times today. The first time, just read it quietly to yourself. The second time, you can read it to your dog or your cat, or if you want to read it to a stuffed animal or a brother or sister, you can do that. And the third time is when you'll record it. And that way, we'll get to hear you reading it in a more natural way, in a more fluent way. So this is called The Dog and the Bone. So maybe the first time you read it, you might be a little choppy. You might say, a dog came across a fine bone. I will bring it home, he said. But then, if you read it, like I said, to your dog or cat or stuffed animal, the next time you'll get more natural sounding. And then the third time when you read it, and record it for your teacher, you'll sound more natural. You'll sound like this. The dog and the bone. A dog came across a fine bone. I will bring it home, he said. So the dog bit into the bone and trotted home on the path next to the lake. As he went, his gaze fell on the lake. There he spotted a dog with a big bone just like his. So that, since there's an exclamation mark, I added a little excitement there. I want my bone. Now there's a comma, so I'm gonna do a little pause, like a little stop. I want my bone, but I want his bone as well, he said to himself. So because his is in all capital letters, I say it a little louder than the other words. I will scare that dog. Then I will take the bone from him. Now I have exclamation marks here. So I, rough, rough. So you read that with a lot of expression, remember. Oops. <laughs> the dog said, and his bone fell into the lake with a splash. And we read that with a lot of expression because it's in all capital letters and you have an exclamation mark. There was no other dog. He had spotted himself in the lake. So he saw his own reflection. So it's just a fun fluency passage for you to read today, first graders. And when you record it for your teachers, try to remember to use expression because that's what we really want you to have. We want you to read with that expression. See you later.